The future women's health care is, is very important, so training the future, future providers for women's health care I think is something we all take pride in. I think the University of Colorado, I think the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology has a very desired residency program, and I think the faculty that make up the Division of General Obstetrics and Gynecology as well as the rest of the department and even the, the, the School of Medicine uh, makes the University of Colorado a special place to train. I was here as an, a medical student and rotated just on a brief four-week elective, and while I was here, I knew that this was my dream job and where I wanted to be. The teamwork amongst the all of the different specialists and then especially in our generalist division is fantastic. We really take um, teaching either junior faculty like myself, medical students, residents, we take that very seriously and really emphasize that as a part of our job. I'm not just a physician, I'm a physician educator and that is really important to us here and one of the most important reasons that I, I wanted to stay on after my residency and why I kept working here. I think what I would say about our generalist division at the University of Colorado is that it is basically, it offers you whatever opportunity you're willing to pursue. You have to identify what's important to you, but once you do that, basically the sky's the limit. We offer every subspecialty that exists within the field of OBGYN, um, from family planning to urogynecology to reproductive endocrinology. And I think a lot of medical students are not aware of all the various subspecialties and all the many ways that one can be an obstetrician gynecologist until they come to us. And at this institution, they get exposure to all of those fields. And I do think that's a tremendous experience for them. In addition to the more routine clinical areas. Uh, we also have some unique service lines uh, for the uh, generalist division. This includes mood disorders in pregnancy. We have a very established pelvic pain clinic. Uh, we also provide services for adolescent pediatric gynecology, which is fairly unique, at least in the region. My special interest is in pediatric and adolescent gynecology. We have our residents rotate through and I think it's one of, I routinely get feedback that it is one of their favorite rotations because they just don't get to see children or even young adolescents and how to do a confidential interview, how to ask the mother to step out of the room, how to ask those very private and personal questions, which really gynecologists need to do on a daily basis if they're treating a younger patient, not just the complex conditions, is really vital to their training. And I think that's where we really can provide value to the gynecology resident. At the University of Colorado, we have a year-long program that all of our residents participate in for simulation. The goal of simulation really should be to address either procedures that are very rare and high risk or that have complicated equipment just to get our residents exposed, um, either to increase their volume and knowledge or to have some experience with the equipment in a low stakes environment. And so each month there's a new simulation that the residents rotate through. And some of those are complicated obstetrical laceration repairs, complicated laparoscopy, and then operative hysteroscopy. We've grown into a very large, uh, but very comprehensive uh, clinical enterprise. And I think we've also been very successful in recruiting and developing careers for our junior faculty, which is really important. And I think that's why people choose to stay in an academic career or at a teaching institution like this as full-time faculty members. The general division of OBGYN at the University of Colorado I have found is incredibly supportive of um, once you identify a clinical interest, if you want to delve deeper into that clinical interest. So they've never limited us. If I say I want to do just vulvar disease, then Dr. Thompson, as our division director, is very supportive of allowing us to pursue that. Meaning through that, he offered me the opportunity to pursue a more research intensive career. Um, he's also supported me in going to different clinics across the country to go see how they run their vulvar clinic so that we could basically do the best we could here at the University of Colorado. The axis that people build their academic careers on can certainly be clinical, but it could also include administrative or service. And we have a lot of junior faculty who build their careers on being uh, student clerkship directors, residency program directors. There's a lot of service uh, administration and advocacy within the health system and something they can build that academic career on.
and it's really important to have networking and collaboration nationwide, and I think our department and our division have that national profile.